this one's even seven seven eight.
So we have a mirror up two to zero over Ronaldo. That's a mirror, yes. So we had a three ball break uh, by a mirror. Amir's been breaking fairly well this past couple times. No, there isn't. Uh, just speak nice and softly like this. That's good. And uh, we're going to be uh, sweating this match here with Jim uh, Coach Barnard and uh, Jeff Cordy's here. Make sure you guys can hear each other. There was a defensive there, shot by Amir. I'm doing well. How are you? Great, great. Let's see, who do we have shooting here right now? Um, so right now we have Ronaldo up. Um, Amir just played a defensive shot against him. It looks to appear, though, that he can see the two. Now, I don't know if he has a clear shot to a pocket. It doesn't appear, but he can see the two. That's going to be a very tough shot for him to do. It looks like he's going to kick at it. No, he went for the cut. He did have a better vision. Ronaldo left a mere long. Now, Mir might be able to, to cut this into the corner pocket there. Um, looks like that three ball is going to be a problem ball, though, with that five. Locked up on that five right there. He's playing the safety. Great safety here. Great safety. Got in behind. Leave his opponent just either a jump or a kick at it at this time. And it looks like uh, Ronaldo's getting out of jump cue. He's got the good distance there. See if he elects to jump, try to make it in the corner or in the side. Let's see what he does here. Kind of a tight jump right here. Oh, he good try. to make that in the side. That was a great attempt, great contact though. Still didn't leave Amir with much of a shot anywhere. He can he can see the two, but it doesn't look like doesn't look like he has much of a shot on it. He's gonna probably try to get that cue ball down behind those two balls at the far end of the table. And put a lot of distance in between him and the two ball. Maybe behind the eight too. Let's see what he does. Excellent safety. Excellent. Nice safety. shot. And it looks like he left him right behind that four ball. Four balls right in the middle. So you know I'm colorblind. If I don't see the numbers, I'm going to probably say the wrong ball many times. Okay, no problem. 
no problem. Killed me playing nine ball. I bet. This right here is actually what the viewers are looking at. So this is a little, this one's delayed. This is what, this is real time. This is a little, little bit of time. Jeff, uh, how many, how many opponents or players did they uh, make for this turn today? Do you have an idea? This looks like um, a very large one. I know this morning, I believe they said 98. Um, 128 were to be expected though to play. I don't know if that number grew after this morning but I believe um, 11.30 or quarter to 12 I believe were the last uh, last eligibility for sign-ups the set does look like he's going to probably try to draw back yeah he did yeah. great draw back good position should be Amir should, should run it out, run out. Oh, this long green here. now if he runs these two balls that he'll go up 3-0 to zero. And their race is seven, seven each. Looks like he's going to take this one down. Right. Looks like he's got a pretty, pretty clean shot for that, uh, for that nine ball. And that concludes please, third match. Please, please, please third game ready. And this is um, alternating breaks. Especially this table by the tournament desk. Thank you. Um, yes, and I believe it's just standard, standard line ball. Yeah, Jeff, from the looks of it here, we've got a large turnout here for this event. Uh, I'm sure they have went over their mint original 98. I'm seeing a lot of great players down here. What's that? Amir. Amir's up 3 0. Um, I, you know, they, I'm sure they did go over that, that 98 mark because there's a, there's a lot of people here. I know the, I know the viewers can kind of only see the TV table right now, but there is, um, a full house in here today. Yeah, I sure noticed that when I came in here. There's standing room only. Two balls. Ronaldo, two balls on that, on that last break. Close to one ball. He uh, looks like he's got a shot at it, and then so he try to get back down the table with that too. A little bit of work to do to get back down to that two. And if he cuts that down here in the corner, probably use a little bit of low left draw to come off the far long rail and then suck it back down there to get underneath. He can see if he can accomplish that. Shape on that. And left the one ball open with him missing. Can he see that ball? Looks like he can see it, but he's not going to have a good chance of making it. So he's probably going to try to either cross bank that or try to leave it bad and get himself uh, or his opponent in some type of a safety situation. He may try to do a little mini jump right over the edge of that nine and then try to make that one. Oh, what a great shot. Awesome shot. He did just that. Just had that little bit of a jump off the table to clear the edge. Beautiful shot. Now, dude. What do you think? Do you think he plays defense on this shot or do you think he goes for the two in the corner? Depending on what his skill capability, that is a makeable cut shot. But it looks like he's lining up for a safety. Yeah. 
Not a bad shot. Left him long and both balls on each rail. You may need a telescope to see that ball all the way at the other end of the table. Nice attempt to safety, but he got a little extra roll. He leaves him some type of a shot. I'm not sure at this point uh, if he can just bank that too or he's going to play a safety. Don't believe he's got the angle to cut it. It was another great shot by Amir coming all the way down with incredible shape on that three ball as well. Very good. It looks like my bifocals were not bifocal in. He had more than enough room to make that cut. Getting shape on the six. If he can do that, making the five, he should have this rack out. This is going to be the shot. It looks like Amir's going to have a pretty good run out right now. I'm not really sure exactly his shape on that eight ball. It's kind of hard to see it from, from our angle. I think he's just going to follow through with that and take the cue over to the far rail. And it looks like that. Beautiful shot. Jeff, that's going to put him up 4-0 if he makes this nine ball here, isn't it? He will go 4-0 in an even race to seven. And there it is, right there. All right. Great matches so far. players out there that's watching this live stream and see we've got 97 of it. Hope you're enjoying these matches out here. We are ourselves. If you have any questions, please drop a, drop a line to us. We'll see what we can do about answering them as soon as we can. just on fire right now. Just all of his shots just seem to be really on point right now. Yeah, 
shape on this six ball too and seven ball all the way down there at the end of the table but the way he's been playing it's I'm sure he'll be able to get down there to it. Yeah, I don't imagine he's just gonna use a little bit of stun shot but get it to walk down there. Beautiful, beautiful. And it looks like uh, Mir might go up 5-0 after these two balls right here. Oh. And Amir might have just given this game to Ronaldo. Our commentation is going like this. So our commentation is delayed to the marriage. No. The whole thing is delayed. So everything we're saying is what they're watching. Oh, and Ronaldo, that was that was his chance, and it looks like he is going to leave a mirror pretty much set up for that nine ball. Oh, he con conceded oh, that shot. Did he give it to him? He gave it to him. So that gives uh, a mirror another win. That was a good hit. He conceded. He pushed the nine ball over to the left. Oh, he conceded. Okay. Ronaldo conceded that match. That's where it was. Ronaldo conceded that match. Conceded yeah. the nine ball. Nine ball set in the pocket. He's pushing out. Okay. The Mess West State Tour is proudly sponsored by Mez Cues, West State Billiards, Virtual Pool 4, Marty Carey's Jump Cue. Fast and loose designs and POV pool. Thanks, everybody, and thanks for watching the Mez West State Tour. Oh, Ronaldo scratches a dry break, and he also scratches on that last break right now. Special thanks also to go play pool everybody go play pool and download the app for your iphone and your android today yeah amir is shooting right now and he's up 5-0 with ball in hand situation with a wide open table like this a player that's already leading it this gives him a little bit more get him up and go beautiful shot and beautiful shape here looks like he's going to put that two ball in that corner pocket and he'll be right set up for that three as well Duffy yeah, just missed it Good attempt, but he's left the two ball wide open so Ronaldo can come in here and make that can, and come right back can on. Can he three. see that two ball in between that nine plenty. and the three? Yeah. Looks like from the, the angle I have here, he's got just enough to see it and then just do a little drawback. Mm. 
It looked like Ronaldo kind of rushed that shot a little bit. Um, you know, he's he might be a little frustrated with himself right now. Um, you know, Amir, Amir's just shooting very well right now. Yeah, that was just probably a little lack of confidence because he's got such a great hill to climb. If he'd have maybe taken a little bit more time, he might have been able to get that. He's putting the pressure on himself. Victor, Victor goes to eight. Rodney goes to seven. Come get your right hand. Look like he tried to tried to play a defensive shot on that one. It looked like he just overrolled it just a little bit and left him open for that two ball. It's hard to see from the single if he has a two-three combo into that corner pocket. Yeah, it looks like that's his only choice there. And, and he made it. What a shot! Exactly what he chose to do. Good shot. Beautiful cut on that. Now he's got his chance to come back into this game if he can just continue what he's doing with this wide open table. Nice shot on that four ball to come come back around to to be it's like perfectly lined up for that five ball right there. Depending on how he shoots his six, you know, he's pretty wide open. Seven ball could potentially be a problem ball depending on where he leaves himself after the six. Yeah, what he's got to look for is whether he's going to try to disturb the seven nine or to try to just shape the seven itself because when you disturb that, you don't know for sure where that ball is going to end up. You've got to be very cautious in it. Oh, nice shot. Nice shot to to make that 6-9 combo right there. And Ronaldo gets a, gets on the board. Sometimes that's all it takes. A little bit of luck in the game and then he just gets his confidence back and heads right on down. Let's see what happens here. Oh, for those of you that might have been down here locally, uh, we want to thank uh, POV. We want to thank on QXL. We put on a nice little demonstration of Trickshot Show for the entertainment of those that were here. They had a lot of fun. And uh, this, you may see some shots throughout the day today and tomorrow on some of the shots we did. We just had a ball. Looks like Amir got one ball on that break. So he's wide open for that one ball. The two ball is back here though on this on this uh, cushion back here where the cue ball is. If he's able to make that one ball, he can make this cue ball travel either one rail or come around two rails to get in behind this two, depending on how what he thinks he can do here. It's going to be a very hard shot because of the distance involved here. Oh. 
You know, it looks like he's going to get a lucky roll on this right here, and that cue ball is going to sit behind that five ball, and he is not going to be able to, um, does not look like he can see that one ball. Now he's going to have to play a kick off the rail here and try to kick that one ball in. sure if he's going to try to kick and make it or kick and leave it here the angle he's got two choices of course he can't go down uh, no it does not look well i don't think he makes it past that three ball i don't think he'll try to cut he may try to I'm you know, not sure here. He might Maybe try to bank. carry him into the side off the off the three or bank that one down and bring the cue ball back behind so he leaves himself a potential two ball. And if he doesn't make it, you can hide him. See, that's, that's us right there. Oh, you happen to be watching? Hi, this is Coach. My, that was my partner, Jeff, over there. Oh, he tried to go for the 1-3 combo, but he left him right behind that 2-5-4 that little bunch right there. I'm not sure on that one. Does not look like he's going to pull his jump cue out for this one. He might. Looks like he's going to try to put a little bit of English on this and go around him. Oh, yeah, he's debating now he on like a mass A. Now I bet he's going back for like that jump. Going back for that jump cue. That jump's easier to control versus a mass A. Okay, here we go. A tough shot coming up. See what he can do. Great hit, and look what he got out of that. Almost left him hooked. He's going to leave him a hard shot. Hard to see from our angle how much of that one ball he can see. Yeah. He's going to try a long, hard cut. If he does that, he's going to have to bring the cue ball across the table and back over to leave him shape on that two ball. Let's see what happens here. It looks like he elected for a great safety. Look at this safety. Beautiful. Oh, awesome. Man. Put him right on that two ball. What a great shot. I'm glad I'm not player up to the table now. He may try to get a one, two, three, four rail kick on the one, or a one rail with a lot of spin. Oh. Good hit. Great hit for him to get out of that safety. Awesome recovery is what that was. Just awesome just to make contact. shot by Amir on that one ball and give himself shape on that two ball as well. On 
Ramin and looking what he got for the lead with the four or five here. You get the four and the five, and let's get around for that seven at the other end of the table, or the six, rather. You should be able to finish this match up. I apologize. I'm you have a color line problem on that three looked like the seven to me. Makes it a lot easier as a great leave. his six ball down there it's a long distance but it's very makeable he should be able to come around and finish this game up and Amir Amir shots are just on point right now all of his shots seem to just be really working for him right now just a little bit of follow through here to take one two three rail or one two rail to come down and get any kind of easy shape on the nine now he may elect to put a little draw on this instead of follow we'll see that's up to the individual's best stroke that he has Looks like he might have put a little too much on that on that draw there for that nine ball. Oh, nice try. And he gives it to him. Looks like he conceded just like uh, his opponent conceded that shot before. Should make this uh, race now two to five and a race to seven. And like I said a little bit earlier, one little mistake sometimes and that gives that opponent that encouragement, confidence, and now he's starting to come back and with another shot basically leaving him the same thing that might give him what he needs to put the pressure on.
Looks like Mir's gonna call a push on this first shot. Safety. Looks like uh, Ronaldo might be getting a little bit of confidence back on, on some of his shots. Yeah, that's all it takes, just sometimes one shot. I'll run out and it real quick. <laughs> Daniel, I'll run outside and eat it so you can switch if you can read that, good luck. Yeah, it's uh, five, five, two. Five, two, right here. Good shot on that one by on that one ball. Excuse me, on that one ball by Ronaldo, and great shape for that two ball as well. Five ball. Good shot on that two, and it looks like he's. Looks like he clears that five for possibly a cut into that corner pocket. He's looking at where he's going to place that ball, I think, if he can't make it. He may elect to cross bank that ball and bring the cue ball all the way down here. And let's see what happens here. I think that's what he's trying. I better adjust my spectacles. I just can't see for some reason. It looks like he's got a great shape for that five ball. As long as he doesn't overroll this or underroll it too much, should have good shape for that six ball as well. He comes through on that five, just floats it on down slightly, and he'll have a great out set up. Shot on that six ball by Ronaldo. Game shot coming up here. If he's able to make this seven, and he'll have the eight, nine fairly simple shots. See from my color line, both of those are the same color as the eight. Both of them are So he's shooting for the seven. But I mean, it's my color line. That's what I'm saying. Two black. Two black. Two black. Very nice attempt there. He did leave a lot of green in this, so now he's just got to focus on making this seven ball. He makes that, everything else should be pretty well over. Beautiful 
shot awesome. Look at this shape coming over here. It's going to set him up easy to make that eight, which will float it down there to make that nine ball. Yeah, Barring here. any unknown circumstances, this game should be over. Amir, after you know he makes this eight nine, he'll go to the hill and raise a seven. Definitely will be pressure on Ronaldo. Awesome, awesome shot. Great lead. Looks like he's going to take this out. And there it is. Amir goes up 6-2. Six to two. Okay. Amir's down to the very end of it. All he needs to do is win this game, and that will take conclude this match. All the pressure is going to be on his opponent now. And with him getting the rack, it puts him in control. That what made it nice when we did a commentary a few years ago. We would get a resume of those shooters because it was always a trick shot. We'd always, there's so and so, this is their background, and how long they have a chance to Looks like he got one ball on that break. Very hard shot on the one to get shape on the two. Will he elect to try that or will he elect to play a safety? This is a difficult leave on the one. So he's got two alternatives. Possible good choice would be a safety bank in the one off the rail trying to get that cue ball to come back to rail and settle right in behind that eight ball there. Just a push shot instead is going to lead in the hard combo. And congratulations to Marty Carey, who wins his first match. Marty Carey. All right. Marty Carey's jump cue. I'd like to follow up with a second congratulations to my friend, competitor, Marty. We both compete in worldwide competition in trick shots. By the way, Marty's ranked uh, number 20 in the world in trick shot. And I've got him by one. I'm up at 19, so I got the bragging rights. Okay, back to this game here. I believe his opponent now is hooked, so he's going to probably have to just try to kick at it and make contact with the one and try to get a good leave out of it. Oh, no, very close to try, but he gives up ball in hand, and that could be very costly. It could cost him the rest of the game and the match here. Let's see what he can do. It's going to be very touchy on this. Get to make the ball and get the They're close. 
okay. They're just next to each other, yeah. They're not, they're not locked up. Awesome leave here, awesome leave. Can make it a very hard kick, possibly a safety. You know, I'm um, to avoid scratching. Amir's uh, defensive shots have just been on point as well today. If he sees his defensive shot, I see. If he just shoots a center ball on the cue directly at the center of that one, that should do a double kick and throw that cue ball all the way back down the table. I mean, whether he can accomplish that or not, I don't know. Looks like he's looking at a two rail. Yeah, it looks like a two rail kick at this, maybe a three. Let's see. Oh, what a shot. A great, awesome three rail kick. Leaves him snookered behind that ball. Awesome shot. That was a great, great shot. Looks like he had enough to hit the two, couldn't make it, but boy, look at that great safety he just pulled on again. He's pulling out all the stops, putting all the pressure on his opponent. Let's see what he can do this time. Beautiful contact, but he just didn't get the roll here. He does leave that two ball makeable now. And if he can make that two, it looks like his opponent now can run out. Let's see what Elmira can do. See if he plays a safety on this. He can see the two clearly. I oh, not quite what he wanted to do. shape on this ball now. He's got beautiful, beautiful shape. I want to say hi to all the 120 viewers out there right now. We just told we got 120 of you enjoying the match. If you like it, be sure to let us know. Anybody uh, see who's on here and how far away you are? We're here in San Diego, so that gives you an idea. So who's, who's watching overseas? Amir, great shape on that seven, but he rattled that five ball. Yep, that would have concluded the game and match. Now he's really opening the door. Ronaldo definitely has been given a chance to come back here. Mm, heard a slight miscue, but he's still got shape. I got the, I got the 
<laughs> Coach, looks like Ronaldo's gonna take game, th go up uh, yeah, to three wins. Make it here six in a second. three here. You got it. Oh, it looks like we've got Connecticut here. <laughs> CT, I believe that's Connecticut. That concludes the win there for Ronaldo. It's now a six three race in Mirrors favored. I see Connecticut on here. Oh, it might be you having a good time and enjoying the match in Connecticut? You guys gotta tell me when you switch rooms. Anybody on the East Coast besides Connecticut or uh, anybody uh, overseas? Bay Area be up in the San Francisco, I believe. Here we go. West Virginia, all right. Looks like Ronaldo got one uh, one ball on that break. Right. Don't forget you guys out there watching, enjoying the game. You got any questions, be sure and put them in there. We'll try to get them answered. North Carolina just popped in there. How you doing there, North Carolina? See, South Mateo, where is that located at? beginning to mount in both players here. Oh, and look like that one ball popped right out of that, uh, from behind that nine ball. Mir can, Mir can definitely see it. So if I understand the answer to my question, South Mateo is in North Carolina. Is that what I'm reading here? Good shot on that one by by Ronaldo and good shape for that two ball as well. Looks like getting shape on the three after he makes this two in the corner is not going to be very hard at all. Let's see what he intends to do here.
looks like this game may just hinge on this four ball right here that he's electing to do, whether he determines to make a couple of choices on banks, a safety, or a cut. So let's see what he does. Pressure's starting to mount. Oh, what a great shot by Ronaldo. Beautiful choice there. He's got him really locked up. Possible jump shot to make contact. Maybe a kick. Looks like he's looking at the kick here. But he's not sure. He's just really debating because it's everything's right here on this four ball. Here we go. It looks like he's electing to kick at it. Oh, what a great what shot. What a hit. Beautiful. I think he got a little bit of luck out of that, too. I think that's got a piece of it. No, well, he's getting down. I don't think he's got anything in the road. Looks like he's got just enough room. Nice shot. That was a great shot too on that six by Ronaldo. Boy, look at this leave here, too. He's just basically got the confidence back. You can tell the way he's walking the table, sizing it all up. Makes this a good chance of being over, and he'd be right back in the game here. Looks like Ronaldo's gaining a little momentum right now in his game. Yeah, he didn't leave himself the easiest shot in the world, but it is very makeable. Controlling to get the nine ball shape after if he makes this eight is going to be the big part of the game here. Oh, what a nice try, but he might get lucky sitting behind that he nine did. ball, and he does. Yeah. Well, his. Amir's going to have two choices, a two-rail kick or a one-rail kick here. Let's see what he determines to go for. He must make contact here. It's really going to be in trouble. You know, I, I know we, from our angle, we can't see if that cue ball is frozen on that nine ball. Good try by, uh, by Amir. Awesome try. It may cost him. That door's getting bigger and bigger for Ronaldo. Beautiful shape here. Looks like he's going to be able to make this nine. He does that. He's going to wrap it up and be now only trailing four to six if he makes the nine. And that it is definitely going to be a match in the making here. Good out by Ronaldo. He goes up to uh, four games now. Scores now six to four, a mere and a race to seven. Hope you all are enjoying this match out here. It's really starting to get uh, exciting.
Oh, it looks like both players are electing to take that break here for a little bit of give themselves a little recoup for Ramirez to try to get his focus a little bit back in and Ronaldo's getting the confidence to come back. If you guys are enjoying the matches out there, be sure to chime in. If you do have any questions, we'll try to answer them best we can. Hope you all can hear us okay out there. Sometimes the sound may not be as good. If you have that problem also, let us know so we could work on it. Just a reminder to you folks, we'd like to thank our sponsors and also a special thanks to Go Play Pool. Check out goplaypool.com. Yeah. Special thanks goes to Automated Entertainment, providing POV Pool with a Wi Fi hotspot and also servicing over 26 locations in Southern California, providing ATMs. video games, automated lighting, automated security surveillance, and much, much more. Check out automated-entertainment.com. The Men's West State Tour number six is also sponsored by Mez Q's. Marty Carey's Jump Q. Virtual Pool 4. West State Billiards. And Fast and Loose Designs. Check out fastandloosedesigns.com. Also, at Fast and Loose, you can pick up t-shirts on sale through December 1st for only $15. Check out Fast and Loose Designs today. Back now to our match between Amir Shoshan and Ronaldo score is six to four. Enjoy. Very good scatter. He got a left himself real close to the one ball here, it looks like. Hard to kind of see from our angle, Coach, but that could possibly be a scratch shot depending on where he goes. Oh, he's good. Okay, I can see that angle now. He's good. He's way good. Uh, the problem is, is he going to elect to go for it or maybe try to just play a nice long safety and keep the cue ball back there? What do you think, Jeff? He did try a safety there. Looks like Ronaldo can see the one. Oh, what a great shot on that one ball. Yeah, it looks like though he got unlucky here with his leave. I think he got ducked behind that ball there, the five ball, and he's got himself snickered on that too. He was trying to make that cut and use the nine ball to hold him up, and it just didn't quite get there. He's looking at a jump or a mass aglis. He's going for his jump shot stick, I believe, here. It's going to be a very close jump. Very hard one. Danger here, not only jumping the ball, 
that when he makes contact is not for the cue ball to hit the rail right away and, and jump the table. So he's got to focus on contact, making it or missing it, and not jumping the table. A lot of factors involved. Many factors are involved there to complicate that shot. That might be a opening here for Amir to be able to make the ball and finish this matchup. See if he's able to regroup himself and get his focus back in. I think on that shot, he was just trying to get in behind that three. Uh, it looks like he may be able to clear, and if he can, then that's going to pretty well take care of this game. Looks like he clears out six, yeah. Beautiful shot, beautiful shot. He played that very well. You know, Coach, it looks like Amir has a pretty open table right now, and he's on the hill, so he could possibly take this table and the match right here. Yeah, let's just hope he doesn't. If he does run it out, he doesn't do what he did on that one game where he had it, and he just hung that ball and rattled it in the corner. And I think that may be on the back of his mind. If he's able to do this and get shape, he can pretty well take care of this game. Looking at this, probably trying a little bit of draw to get back down here for this seven after he makes this five. There it is, great shot, great shot. To Good thing here, he's got a slide angle, so he's gonna be able to control that cue ball pretty well. He can make this seven now and just clear the nine. Leave that eight straight in there. He should be in great shape here. Can't tell whether he's going to be looking at trying to play one rail off the end to get shape on the eight or try to bring the cue ball two rails to come around that nine. Either way will accomplish it, but it just depends on what he chooses to do at this point. Great choice. Can he see that eight enough to get it in that corner pocket? He's got Looks like that straight in on that. He should have been able to stop that with just a tiny bit of draw. And then have the nine ball back down here in the corner. Or if he likes a lot, a lot more draw, he can draw back for the side pocket too. That's what pressure will do to you in shots like that. It looked like from our, my angle here, he put a little bit of low right and twisted his hand, which caused that alignment to come off slightly, to miss that ball.
Is Ronaldo going? Talk about pressure that affected that shot, but I think he got lucky here on his lead, and that's always part of this game. You know, it looked like he rushed that eight ball shot a little bit as well. Yeah, I think he might have. But he got a reward. Amir, I don't think, is too happy with that lead. Boy, is he really getting the luck on his side on these shots. I tell you what, makes for a very, very, very exciting game here. It looks like he's only got one choice here, and that's a one or two rail kick. Try to kick it and get it at the other end of the table, and separation will be the name of the game here as well as contact. He was trying to make a two rail kick and contact the eight, if not make it. Really open the door here for Ronaldo. Let's see if he can take advantage of it now. That'd be really exciting if this match ends up going hill hill. Yeah, Jeff, this stage game, that looks like what's going to happen. It all really came from that first shot that uh, Amir missed, that he had a chance to lock it up, and he opened that door just a touch. Ronaldo has jumped on it and is really coming back. So let's see if he can continue here. There we go. And now that makes it a 6-5 to five race in favor of Amir, Amir. And it's starting to get exciting here. Y'all enjoying it back there? Be sure and sound off. This is getting to be a great match. Maybe you guys are getting so excited you can't get your fingers up at the key on your computers. Feel free, free to jump in there. Let's 
It's a dry break right there by Ronaldo. And uh, Mir up to the table. He's got an open shot at the one. All right, now, what do you think he's going to do here? It looks like he's going to play a safety. We know that, but uh, which side? He's going, oh, he's going on his left side trying to get that one ball snookered. Looks like that cue ball is going to sit behind that three, but he might be able to get enough, get around it enough to see the one. Hard to tell exactly from our angle. At my angle here, Jeff, he's got clearance, uh, no problem. And is this going to have to either stroke it soft or try to do a stop shot? To, either way, he'll get shape on the two. It's just long distance, his enemy here and close to the rail. Does he have a clear shot at that one ball in that corner pocket? He does, okay. Almost straight on. I think he's just going to let the follow through soft and try to make the one. That'll give him shape on the two. Ronaldo's getting some some lucky leaves right now. Looks like Amir can see that one ball though. He's got that lucky leprechaun just sitting on his shoulder, helping him out here on these leaves. Can't tell if he's got a straight in on the cut on the one all the way down or he's going to have to kick at it, but he definitely can make contact. Ooh. Looks like he's going to sit right behind that four ball. And it's going to force Amir is going to have to bank, uh, kick at it from the backside and maybe try to make that one all the way down the corner. And if not... Oh. He'll be hoping to leave him extremely bad. You know, this coach, this game's taken kind of a turn because it was Amir playing safety after safety after safety, and now it's uh, Ronaldo playing playing quite a few safeties that Amir's having to kick at. Yeah, Ronaldo, like I said, has got that little leprechaun sitting up there dishing out the luck. Let's hope it doesn't make him mad and turn the table on him. They have a habit of doing that right in the middle of a game. Nice uh, kick at that and good contact, however. Amir now does have an open shot. Let's see what happens. Looks like that one goes into that corner pocket, too. Looks like Amir is just losing a little bit of the confidence in the shots that he was just nailing earlier in the match. And I don't know if the pressure is getting to him or not, but uh, he's trying to hold it together. like that leprechaun decided to change sides and he's giving ball on hand to Amir and the table is definitely open. What do you think about that 2-9 combo down there? Two ball depending on his on his leave after the one you know could potentially be a problem ball. Could be but I don't think he'll elect to set up for that because that is a difficult combo it looks like. I think he's going to try to get the run out off of this. Let's see. Yeah, the way the table's laid out here, Jeff, it looks like all he's going to have to do is make his three and get some kind of decent shape on the four, and he's got a good chance of, uh, with his confidence, coming back on this game. 
You know, Coach, as long as Amir takes his time, doesn't overroll anything or underroll anything, he should have a pretty clean out. Left himself a little tight on that five, but definitely got enough clearance to get by. He makes that and just maintains no contact on that six or kicks that six clean. He should be able to finish it out. That's going to be the key to this match. Great shot. Even to move that six ball out, great shot. Six in the corner, bring that cue ball either back with a little draw or follow and go around and avoid contact with nine. That's the biggest part of this shot after he makes it. He's looking at it. It's a very tight shot on that seven. He that was his problem. He made contact on that night. He wanted to try to, on that nine ball, he wanted to try to avoid contact, and that's what got him in a little bit of a predicament. Definitely does not want to give Ronaldo a ball in hand right now. You know, Jeff, I don't think he's got enough room to make it. He does have enough room definitely to clear it and or to possibly try to bank. So you know, he may just try to get it and then leave it open worth a good safety. He can definitely see it. I do not believe he he can make it, though. That would cause him to have to jack up and try to jump the edge of it, so he's not doing that. He's just going to make sure he hits it, maybe get the little mass A to get it. Let's see what he does. You know, that seven goes into that corner of pocket at the end. As long and very little clearance past the eight, although there is plenty of clearance, it may affect his uh, line of sight and work on him. Now he's just got to make the seven and try to leave him a decent shot on the eight or select to go with that good old safety and see if he can get that leprechaun back on his shoulder. Chap. Now he's got himself a very makeable but hard shot at the eight. I uh, think he's probably going to elect to go down table into the corner with a good cut. Try to avoid not that cue ball coming across and scratching, but he's also got to make it. And this is where he was before. He must make it or not leave it or it's all over. Looks like a, oh, what a great shot on that eight ball. Wow, that was an awesome shot, and look where he left himself. Very makeable on the nine. He does this. He has made his comeback, and it will be at the Hill Hill place. The excitement is really coming up now. I believe he was down five games to two at one point. He is can come back. If he makes this nine ball, he's going to take this Hill Hill. Oh. 
pressure shot there. And now he's left himself his Amir a shot at the nine. It's not the easiest shot in the world. Let's see who can hold up under the pressure and who's going to end up folding. You know, again, Ronaldo with his 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 lucky leaves left leaving him. You know, it's definitely a makeable shot, but it's it's a long shot. There's a lot of table to cover right now. You bet it's not a give me. No, not not to add on top of that, but the pressure. There we go. Big name of this game is pressure. Well, you know, and also leaving Ronaldo maybe going into that corner pocket over there, but still the pressure on on both of them right now has got to be pretty intense. Oh, I'm sure it's affecting both their shots. These shots are missing now. They generally don't miss. Let's just see what we can do. Oh, and there it is, guys. Hill Hill. Ronaldo comes back from a 5-2 deficit to go Hill Hill. There we are. It's all down to this one game. What a comeback he's done. What a comeback. Hill Hill, and I believe it's Amir's break. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I apologize. It looks like it's Ronaldo's break to go Hill Hill. You talk about advantage here. With all that comeback that Ronaldo's been able to do, and he's now got the confidence, the pressure's really going to be on Amir. Hey, I don't know what somebody in the chat room wants to know if I'm playing. No, I'm just going to be commentating in this match. Hey, thanks for the comments. We had a problem at this and uh, we just could not see that scroll bar moving up and down, so we do appreciate it. So they asked uh, who's commentating to it. I don't know a lot about it. So. Okay, we got, uh, looks like he made a couple of balls on the break. He does have a contact shot. I don't know if he's going to be makeable. Let's see what he can do here. Okay, for those who want to know who's commentating, my name is, I'm better known as Coach in the Pool World, Jim Barnard, but I'm better known as Coach. I don't go by my name normally. I've been playing a little over, almost 50 years in the game of pool. Been playing trick shot professionally since 2007. I've been a BCA instructor since 2003. I love the game. I've always enjoyed it, and it's my love of my life. Gives you a little background on me, and oh, by the way, I am currently ranked 19th in the world in trick shot competition. Jeff, give them a little background on yourself. Well, I definitely don't have the background that you have, Coach. Um, I've been playing pool for a couple years now, and just came out to the tournament today with Mike Meeker, and uh, was helping Daniel set up today, and um, and yeah, he asked me to commentate on a few games, and here I am. Well, I'll tell you what, Jeff, you're doing a great job. This is my second time commentating on a live stream. I enjoy it, and if you can't tell, I love to talk, so this makes it a very easy part of my game. You know, this is actually my first time ever commentating on a live stream, so if I'm not doing very well, I apologize, guys, and I uh, hope you guys are enjoying all the, the action today. We do not know who's up next. We won't know who's up next until after uh, this match is uh, over. And you guys out there that uh, may have met me or know me in some time, be sure to say hi so I know who you are exactly. Love hearing from anybody. Okay, those that are losing the screen, we're working on that problem right away. We hope it, we've got it fixed. Hopefully your screen's back. Let us know. Oh, 
awesome shot here. Awesome shot. He can make this five and get shape on that six. He's definitely got a good chance of finishing up this Hill Hill match. You those that maybe still don't have the screen, the fix was just taken care of, and hopefully you'll have it right away. Okay, Jeff, looks like he left himself a very tough leave on this seven. I think he's probably going to elect to do a safety and try to draw back behind that nine, especially with all the marbles on the game here. You know, Coach, that was a really good attempt at, uh, at that seven ball. Looks like he did leave Ronaldo open for that seven ball and it looks like Ronaldo's looking at um at maybe an eight nine combo after that seven ball now he elects to go out to that seven uh, he's just going to try to come around or come back across to that eight and have it and then he can have the game up there Answer or question somebody was uh, asking is on cue pack. There is a lot of people here, but you may be able to find some parking places. So come on down and watch and get the enjoyment of the game. Be sure you say hi when you come in. Okay, Ronaldo missed that shot and has opened the door back up. Pressure is really mounting for both these players right now because everything's on the line. You got three balls, and whoever makes this nine ball, of course, is going to be the winner and move on. And you know the attention's really mounting, so they're definitely trying to slow down and get their confidence. Question about the Black Widow. No, she's not here. I don't think she's uh, planned to show up, but there are uh, some other players here. Question about Clint. Uh, no, I know he's here and he's competing. I haven't been able to be at the position to see Clint uh, shooting at the moment, but he is here. Come on down and watch. Clint. He's one of the locals here. I don't know if you're local or not. I'm from Downing. What a great shot on that seven ball by Amir. He was very concerned about that scratch almost in the corner. He avoided that, and I think he's uh, very happy at this point. Just checking in with you guys. This is Daniel Bush. Our next match on the live stream table will be Foch Garcia versus San Diego local and very strong veteran Filipino player Ben Yamul. Ben Yamul 
commentated by Ashi Fochler, Fockler and Dan Wallace. Thanks for watching. That was for those who was asking earlier about who's going to be shooting the match next. Okay, here we go. Going at the eight ball, trying to make it and set up on the nine. You can tell with the tension, he's definitely taking his time. What a great shot right there by Amir to go into that side pocket and get uh, get shape on this nine ball. Long shot, but definitely a makeable shot. Here we go. It was in the race to seven, and now they played the 12, and it all comes down to one ball. Who can make this nine? Oh, and there it is, folks. There we go. To take that game seven. The leprechaun jumped on his shoulder at the right time. Well, Hit coach, it, rattle it, and made it. Great shot. Great I match. I don't know about you, Coach, but I think I'm going to take a little bit of a break here. I'll, I know we uh, have some other commentators going to come in and here for the, for the next match, I believe. Allison Fisher, I do not believe, is here today. I haven't seen her. I haven't heard about her showing up today. Now, I'd, I'd talk to some of the other players that had ideas, and uh, we just have one uh, WPBA player right now, Melissa Herndon. And uh, I don't think any other women are going to be here. And uh, at this stage, I don't know any men professionals that's going to be down here. But everybody's having a great time. All right, guys. Well, thanks again for tuning in. Um, stay tuned for the next match of Shart. Shart, I'm sorry. I can't talk right now. To uh, start shortly, guys. Okay, guys, enjoy the match that's coming up. There's going to be a short break here. And uh, I'm going to try to continue commentating as much as I can as help out here. And if you like everything, be sure and let us know.
need me, yeah, they're done. Do you need me, uh... You seen Clint, how he's doing? See again? You know, have you seen Clint, see him, you know how he's doing? Yeah, he's right here. <laughs> it's just spiky up. It's, uh, you know, it's, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Coach, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be sitting here, my friend. Uh, again. That's right. Who what? You get the, uh, are you doing the whole match or are you just going to do a bit or what? Uh, 